know we talked about the Pasco Triangle. Um, George Jansen isn't in that either. So a quick little history and origin. The Pasco Triangle is named after the French mathematician Blaise Pascal. Although the triangle is named after Pascal, he was not the first to recognize like the triangle pattern. Um, references to the forces of the triangle were seen in the 11th century and ought to have or thought to have been brought over by the way of Arabia and China. So within the like, there's a lot of like things within the Pascal triangle. The more you look at it, the more you can discover. So one of them is like the binomial coefficients, which is used a lot in statistics. So in order to find how many combinations you can get out of a set of things, you can use the formula I know k and n factorial of k. Factorial times n minus k. Yeah. So you can use that, which is used a lot in statistics, but you can also use um, you can go and say, okay, well, if you want to find out how many you can pick like three objects from a set of five, you go to the triangle. So the top row is the zero row, first row, second row, fifth, set, third. So one, two, three, four, five, and then you go three over, so one, two, three. So you have like 10 different ways to pick three different objects from a set of five. And that's shown here from like five choose three. So that's how you can like see the binomial coefficients within the triangle. And then here's a proof. So here we're just showing, proving that n plus k over one, or n plus one over k equals n over k minus one plus n over k. And so basically what they did was they, since we know that this equals that, and they just plugged it in, found common denominator, <coughs> and then proved it out. If y'all wanna research that later, have fun with that. Okay, <laughs> so in the triangle, like I said, there's a lot of different patterns. Like Trent was showing the Stravinsky triangle. If you keep this going out and then highlight certain numbers, it'll show the Stravinsky triangle. And there's also the pattern of two, so like I said earlier, the top row is the zeroth column or row. So if you take the sum of each column going across, and it's just two to the n. So one equals two to the zero power, which is just one. One plus one equals two, and that's two to the first power. So that just keeps on going down. And then with that, there's also the magic 11s. So if you just look across them and just pretend that they're like, just read them as 121, that's 11 to the second power. And if you keep on doing that, it'll keep on falling 11 to the nth power, 11 to the nth power. But when you get to the fifth row, you're like, okay, well that's not 11 to the fifth power. And that's because they're not accounting for like the uh, place values of it. So if you account for the place values, you still get that, like the triangle still continues on. So it's like, it doesn't give up at the fifth row, it keeps on going. Okay, that's it, do y'all have any questions? Okay, cool. <laughs>